So let's talk about the Netflix One Piece trailer. So, it just uh, came out a couple days ago. It looks like it might not be half bad. And that's kind of shocking. Because, uh, what, every single Netflix live action show they've done has been trash? Um, this one actually looks like it has a chance of being okay. Uh, of course, there are some complaints. I mentioned quickly in a previous video that Nami having, you know, dyed red hair, uh, which, you know, is to be expected. The part that throws me off is the eyebrows. The fact that her eyebrows are also not red, which is a problem when people, you know, dye their hair to be a, a playing a role. Uh, secondly, Usopp's nose is not big enough. You're already having the show be quite goofy. So why is that a problem? Just have his nose freaking hanging long and proud. Okay? Uh, the costumes look good. Um, I'm really excited to see how these these actors portray the characters. Um, you know, Arlong could have been more buff or taller. He seems a little bit short, I guess. Maybe it'll look better in the show. Um... And the sets are probably the part that got me the most excited. The sets are absolutely incredible. Um, one thing I'm kind of worried about is the music, because it sounds very Pirates of the Caribbean, or Caribbean, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, so that kind of has me concerned. Don't know if that's going to have like any remixed versions of the actual music from the show. Which I hope it does. Um, and then I wonder if it's going to also have like the dark and the sad points. And not just you know only try to be goofy. So those are some concerns. Uh, it might be really good. It might not be. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but that's coming up soon. And I will watch and review it when it does come out. 